I think the main thing is just you just want to fly this all the way to the hole. So we saw Tom Byram do in the group before us. Mm -hmm. Just carry the ridge with a beautiful shot. Steve Stricker's got a clean scorecard. He's three under on his round, and he's got a birdie putt coming up at 13 to try to widen that lead. A moment ago, Paul Goido, second shot at 14. Uphill lie, plenty of green to work with. Paul is a very good bunker player. And as expected, this would be a good one. Now Steve Stricker great approach shot here has this for birdie. This would be his fourth birdie of the day and this would push the lead back up to six. Yeah, it's a putt you know, it does have some break you have to be a little bit careful with it. You don't want to just try to power it in there because they can run out. Steve Stricker eating up the par fives here at Greystone. He moves to 18 under and a six shot lead. Season long race for the Charles Schwab Cup and Billy Andrade on the tee at 15. I don't think he can get there today in two, Bob. No real need to. This will be going up the right side. Pretty solid though. And the 15th playing about where the tees are today, about 570 yards in the front of the green. Billy Wood has this putt for birdie at 16. Curls that in, that gets him to nine under. 197 yards, and you know, he's looking at somewhere 25 feet just short and out there to the left. It's been pretty cool to watch, Phil, with this. Talked about having the. Uh, Luxury of playing with the lead. His routine has been the same, not getting ahead of himself at this point. No, he looks very, very comfortable, doesn't he? Yeah, he certainly does. And just out to the left as you would expect. Anyway, shot. All right. He had said that his ball striking had been the last couple of years as good as it's ever been. It's just a putter, particularly this year. The putting hadn't quite been to his standards, and this week it's been quite a lot better. 24 putts in the second round of 64. <laughs> you know, if he if he putted when he improved his ball striking and hit almost two greens around more, can you imagine if he putted like he did always? He needed to run away <laughs> for it with every tournament. He might. Langer's going to be next. We are in this golf course. This is the fourth year we've played here at Greystone. Bernhard has won twice here by margins of five and six, and Jimenez last year winning by a margin of three. It seems like this golf course sets up these players to, to win by wide margins. Well, certainly so. It requires a lot of shots, and this is what Langer's doing here at the par three, going to the extreme right hand side of the tee box, trying to set up an angle where he can start it out to the left and work it back to the right. I think it favors a player that is comfortable yeah, with working the ball in both directions. Yep, good one. Take a look here, Steve Stricker's putting. He talked earlier in this year about his putting, the importance of it. It's not been his normal year of putting. Strokes gained on the PGA Tour. Uh, he's minus 0.6. That equates to about a half a shot per round on the PGA Tour. And then on this tour, uh, he's averaging about one stroke more per round putting. And then this week is turned around. He had 24 putts in the second round. He struggled the third round with the putter of the first 12, 13 holes. But as Bob mentioned, he birdied three of his last six. And then uh, today he went out with 12 putts in his first nine. So the putter's starting to feel a lot better to him. Paul Goidos playing his third shot from the rough. Not the ideal layup. Not at all. 110 just out of the rough. Decent lie. He's trying to chase it up, but it's way too soft to hit that shot. 
It's not going to be an easy pitch from there either. Not a lot of green to work with. They would be different field keys from one round to the next. It was basically what he needed based on what he felt. Now these are not major overhauls. They're just little bitty feels more than anything else. But uh, feels are the. They may not be real, but they are what you use when you concentrate. Yeah, that feel that you say you're doing probably if you looked at it on. On film, that actually would be really not what you're doing. Mm. He's not feeling <laughs> very good with that putter right now. I can yeah, tell you that. Not at all. Hold up one more, please. Thank you. That stroke was a little different than the one we saw a couple holes ago. Actually, that stroke looked okay, but fourth shot for Billy Andre at 15. Some trouble, John Cook. Yeah, Billy went for the green from 265, which I thought was a pretty good play. Giving uh, he likes to hit the ball left to right. Hit the top of the tree, dropped straight down, and just had to pitch out. That was from 73 yards. Back to the tee at 15, and Steve Stricker will be first to play. Looks like it's going with driver Phil, and really no chance to get this par five and two today. A lot of times the swing hits that three wood. He absolutely loves it. It's a bullet. But he's been driving it so good, Billy Ray, and what he wants to avoid here is going right. He's got you got plenty of room left with these soft conditions. If you go right, you get blocked out, and you may have to pitch out. How about this? Starts up the right hand side, feeling a little draw there up the left. What a tee shot there. That's right where he had it pictured. Up at the green, Tom Byram, one under on his round today, has this putt for birdie. And if he was to make this, this moves him into a tie for second. A nice little uh, gap wedge shot in there from 105. Now just oh, four or five feet right of the hole. Doesn't do a whole lot. I think move just a little bit right to left. I'd like to have that one back. That was as a right hander. You love those little putts and move just a little right to left like that. Missed opportunity for Tom Byram. Steve Stricker just cruising along on this Monday here at the Regents Tradition with a six shot lead. Second shot for Langer at 15. You know, when Langer hit it in the water the other day, Saturday on 13, save par, here's where his mistakes were compounded. Remember, Phil, he laid up in the woods, in the high grass, and he wound up making a bogey on this hole, and it's where he seemed to have lost all of his momentum. It was the same day he had shot 31 on the front. It looked to be, we thought he was on, on his way. He had the outright lead at one point. Stricker's second at 15. Really no issues here. Ball just below his feet. Plenty of club he'll take right here to get past those trees on the right hand side. A shot of about 210 yards. All right. It's a nice easy walk for Steve Stricker. He's playing in the PGA Championship later this week, but trying to win a major for the first time on the PGA Tour Champions in Birmingham. Back of the region's tradition Monday finish for the PGA Tour champions for the second time this year happened in Biloxi first time in a major since the 2016 U.S. Senior Open Bernhard Langer getting set to play his third in the 15. He wasn't very happy back when he played his second shot but I believe it's absolutely perfect extreme left hand side of the fairway 101 yards whole location over in that front right just six paces on. It's a little bit of a backboard behind this too. Trying to use it. He got just over it, just a little bit. Mm. 
Willie Woods got a third shot coming up at 18 and again you know every dollar counts as you try to position yourself and get make sure you get in the playoff. This is only Willie's fifth event of the year currently at nine under in a tie for sixth. Five way tie for six if he can make birdie he would jump out into six all alone that's a big difference in money. Mm. Miscalculated there. Steve Stricker getting ready to play his third at 15. Just 91 yards. I, I love the approach the way he plays these wedges. He's able to really control the flight and also his distance which goes hand in hand uh, with this technique. We talked about it so many times his dead hands uses the body to rotate to square the club face up. Yeah. Just picks it off the top of the grass most times. Flights it down. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, the announcer jinx. I got him there. <laughs> and that's a dangerous little pitch or putt because he'll be going against the grain from there. Sure get him a little trouble, yeah. Mm -hmm. First real misstep for Steve Stricker. He's got a big lead though here at the region's tradition. Steve Stricker's third shot coming up a little bit short at 15. And this feels interesting. A little lie. Obviously, talked about the rains. Very soft where he's at, going in against the grain, coming back up the hill. Billy Ray and Brake, we got a, a chance to watch him mark this ball, and he marked it a full club length away from where it originally lay. And I think he's got it back into a spot now where it's a down grain. The ball is lying in a down grain portion of the fairway, which is much easier than where it stopped originally, which was in the end of the grain spot. Yeah, he's, he's got one that he can fly it on the green. That's one thing here. He doesn't have to be really cute with this shot. Well, that's a good shot, but <coughs> pitching off Bermuda, you have those tight into the grain lies that are so easy to miss hit. I don't want any part of it, I can tell you that. Third shot for Paul Goidos at 16, deadlocked with a bunch of players at 11 under for second. 154, back up the hill, 10, 7 iron. A little past the flag. The eggs look quick from back there. Be careful with that putt. Thank you. Good. Plenty. Thank you. Looks like less than driver here. Really right for Stricker. Yeah, that's three wood here. It's interesting. Now the breeze just picked up. It was into the wind with David Toms now helping for Steve Stricker from right to left. Got to get it past those trees on the right. Catches the trees. Oh, what a break there. Comes back toward the fairway. Still not in there though, but uh, good break. That was some. 15 yards right of the fairway and kick back toward the fairway. Given the line with the ball below his feet, that's going to be tough to do here. He's got a pretty good lie. I'd anticipate this ball starting out to the left, trying to hit a big cut. It's exactly what he's trying to do. Solid contact here, just left of the flag. Went up and over the trees, too, yeah. over the corner. What a shot that was from there. Amazing. Took on that little limbs that over hung on that branch, and wow, what a play. Billy Andrade on the tee at 17. This par three played 185 yards. Back down the hill, 13, though, Bob. This is a six iron for Billy, just left of the hole, trying to cut back. That's a pretty okay. good shot, though. You like this one, Chris? Yeah, I do. It's been an unlanger like day. Bogey's at six, nine, and 11. Made his first birdie at 13. So he made a bogey at 14. So Langer is three over today. This approach shot here at 16 comes back up the hill. But given that flag stick where it's positioned, I can just see the top quarter of the flag stick. Doesn't quite have the same rhythm that he normally has in his swing today. We'll have a lengthy birdie putt. He'll get a little read from Steve Stricker. Stricker trying to close in on that first major with a six shot lead. Mm -hmm. 
Well, after hitting a tree off the tee and playing a risky second shot, Steve Stricker has a birdie attempt at 16. Certainly does, but I got to think, Phil, that second shot that he plays, he actually pushed his second shot, hit plenty of room out to the left. All is good now, but I think he got away with one there also. Yeah, certainly that line brought all the trouble into play, and in the position he's in right now, he just wants to avoid anything, make it a big number, but now he's putting right up the hill. He's got a chance. He certainly does. Should turn back just a bit. The end. Well, more than what he anticipated, though, but exactly what he was looking for, especially after the tee shot. Steve Stricker's largest margin of victory on the PGA Tour was in 1996 at the BMW Championship. He won by eight over Billy Andrade and J. Don Blake. Right now, he's got a six shot lead here at the Regents Tradition. Speaking of Billy Andrade, he's got a birdie putt over at 17. I'd call this a decent look. 15 feet breaking a little bit to the right, really quick. Now Langer for his birdie. Got a lot of information from the putt of Steve Stricker. And ball of his broke quite a bit more right than I think Steve and myself anticipated. And we'll see if he's got it figured out here. That stroke again that just looked a little funky on the way through didn't look quite right. Putter wiped to the left pretty quickly after impact. Bar for Langer at 16. One of those days one of the biggest assets Bernard Langer has though, is he has a short memory he won't he won't dwell on this round for very long. Paul Goidos for his birdie at 17. I'll call it 12 feet back down the hill. Got to move a little bit to the left as it slows down. There you go. Oh, what a clutch birdie that is on this hole. Yeah, that moves him into a tie for second. Tom Byram and Billy Andrade currently in a tie for fourth at 11 under. Billy easily has the firepower to reach the screen in two. He also is going to have to challenge that right, though, because if he goes left, you're going to have to lay it up. Wind blowing down out of the right. Reaches back to rip one, and he's done it. Nice drive. Big full turn he still makes. Back part of the screen works away from the tee, and that would have been in play when the greens were firm. Yeah. Certainly so, and I think this mm -hmm. whole location, that's position today, Phil, over in this right hand side, is the most difficult. That they had because of that situation. Still going through his routine. Yeah, you, know, you got a six shot lead. Do you think you might just for fun just go ahead and challenge it? I mean, at this point, you can get it to the house. Why not? See what you can do. And now the wind picks up back here at the tee. It's back into the player. So once again, swirling through these trees. Oh. Oh. Okay. Safely on the green at 17. And he's up by six with a hole and a half to play here at the Regions Tradition in Birmingham, Alabama. A lengthy birdie putt here at 17. It is back up the hill, going to move from left to right, kind of putting through a, a couple different grain changes here, Phil. But he has been spot on with his speed, no matter the situation. That's the one part of his putting that he never seems to lose track of is is his pace. It's usually pretty good. He might struggle a little bit at times with line, but his pace is always good. It seems when you watch him. Mm 
Billy Ray, you know, we talked about it with this being a Monday finish. Um, and the fan support, they love their golf here in the Birmingham area. Not a bad group of people coming out to watch this last group. Not at all. More than I, I certainly anticipated. Yeah, I think they were ready for some sunshine also, as we were and the players. A beautiful day here today. Steve Stricker putting on a fantastic show for the fans. We could stroke right there and quite turn at the end, but hit it where he wanted. He'll take that stroke every time. That had that had some conviction through it and a little release at the ball. They give David Toms a lot of credit. You can see he's been ginger with that back, dealing with back issues for the last couple of weeks. Made a double at three, and then bogeyed the par five fifth. Kind of fell off any chance of winning, but you know he's battled back, clean scorecard since. He's thrown in three birdies there and. Currently sits in a tie for second. Yeah, he's done done very nicely. And it, gosh, it's been it was either I think it was Friday when it went out on him. Fifth hole, as I recall, been over to get something out of his bag and went out. He had been dealing with the, about a month, he said, and at, at the third hole, talking to his caddy, he said uh, he thought he might do it at the third hole, but um, it didn't spasm as bad. But there at the fifth, but he is certainly speaking to David Thomas, hung in there tough throughout the week. Billy Andre giving it a rip at 18. After a perfect drive, 219 front, 230. Hole location back up the hill. This is going a little to the right. This should be short of that bunker, but relatively easy pitch shot. A little good angle now back over to 17. Just a bit more work for Steve Stricker than he'd like. Put it back up the hill. Here's his hands a little high to dress. Locks those wrists in. Watch the rocking of the shoulders. Great rhythm in these little short putts. All the pieces work together. There's not anything working independently of everything else when he when he putts. Really his entire game. That seems to be one of his goals or strengths in his entire game. David Toms needs a pretty good tee shot to reach this in two. Yeah, it'll have to be his best, that's for sure. And to do that, you have to challenge that creek that runs up the right hand side. And he did that, but well back. Billy Andre playing his third shot at 18. No real issues right here. Just a little flip up the hill, let it run out. Pretty well done. That was a good technique. Why did he stood that club right along the grass nicely? Used the bounce. Really well done. So Andre will have that putt for birdie to at least for now move into a tie for second. Strecker's got a six shot lead on the tee at 18, the 72nd hole of the region's tradition. When he's got less than driver, Billy Ray looks like that three would. Yep, it certainly does. And uh, he's been very focused. I think once he finds a fairway here, keeps it out of the penalty area on the right, I think he maybe takes a little deep breath finally. That's up the left hand side, safely away from the penalty area. All good. Well, he's been in grind mode today. Clean scorecard, four under on his round. And he's talked about winning a major championship. He's got to finish 18, and he'll get a chance to take home. The region's tradition in its 31st year. Boy, a lot of thunderstorms have swept through Birmingham going back to Thursday. Danced around raindrops, thunder, and lightning. Sunny skies on this Monday. Monday finish for the first major of the year for the PGA Tour champion. Steve Stricker started this final round with a two shot lead. Over Billy Andre, David Toms, and Bernhard Langer. His lead is now six. Speaking of Billy Andre, birdie putt at 18. Big putt here for Billy. 
Tom Byram two putted for par. Good finish for Billy. So an even par 72. In a 12 under. Currently in a tie for second with this man Paul Goidos who has a par putt here at 18. And of course David Tom's playing in the group behind. Paul went for this green and two hit it to the right kind of fluffed up a pitch shot. 40 feet now. Big putt for Paul. That's his best finish in a senior major best in his previous best of. Tied for fifth. Senior open. Final round two under 70 for Paul. And a good week. The Ray Steve Stricker is taking a little walk, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's up the left hand side. He cannot see the fairway we want to lay that up to, so he's walked up ahead on the cart path, trying to get a reference where he'd like to start this layup shot. Billy Ray, he's leading by six. You know, and he's got to do something really disastrous to not win this golf tournament. Do you think part of that might be just to settle his emotions a little bit? You know, that, that's a great question, but I, I think more. I think he actually wants to finish on a good note, to be honest with you, right now. Well, while he waits, Steve Stricker sizing up his options. David Toms playing a second at 18. 243 yards just to the front of the green for David Toms. It's a heck of a shot. Had it right on line if that ball carries. Another couple yards, it's right next to the hole. Aggressive line. If David can make a birdie, it gives him second place outright at 13 under. There was a scoreboard back at 17. I can tell you, all three players glanced at the scoreboard there. Okay, it's going to jump left. Yeah. Bernhard Langer is going to give it a rip as well. Same yard as David Toms, 243 to the front. And come from that left hand side, Langer cannot see a portion of this green here, cannot see the flag stick because it's on the left hand side. And see just the right portion. See that bunker that guards the right hand side of the green. Start it there and try to turn it over. And it's headed toward that bunker. Actually, right of that bunker. I'm not sure if it came to rest in that position. Yeah, it's just right of the bunker, Billy Ray. The stricker, Billy Ray, I mean, he can't have more than an eight or a nine iron layup. And so. My only explanation for him taking so much time to play the shot is it's often good to just stay in your routine and keep working on your game and you know don't deviate from what you normally do. Yeah there's no need for him to even challenge the penalty area on the left hand side. Well, starting Thursday he's going to need a lot of patience over at Beth Page Black. <laughs> well, that's, that's a well, great yeah. point. Part of this is getting ready for for the PGA right. Two majors in a week, and Steve has been pretty open in talking about how badly he wants to win a major. Came close at the PGA Championship, runner up to VJ Singh in the late 90s, and he's got an opportunity here with a six shot lead, getting set to play his third at 18. 64 during his second round on Friday. Vaulted him to the top of the leaderboard after Glenn Day shot an opening round 64 and then really just kind of held it together, pieced it together, showed that patience. Phil in that third round on Saturday when he hadn't made a birdie until he got to 13. He was one over on his round. He had lost the lead. He took advantage of the three par fives and made that great up and down for birdie to finish the round. And give himself that two shot cushion again. No, you're right. He, he didn't make a putt at all the first 12 holes. 
in that third round after making what seemed like everything in the second round when he shot 64 he shot eight under and, and he had been struggling a little bit admittedly with the putty, putter this year not up to his normal standards and uh, he holds some nice although not real long but eight to ten foot putts there coming in that third round and really gave him a lot of confidence. I just have to wonder if this is going to be an emotional moment moment for him to win his first major championship and how much of this that he's going through spending so much time with the details when the tournament's already at hand is his way of just kind of displacing you know the emotions that he knows he's going to feel here and just trying to put it off here for a little bit. You know they're down there deep inside lurking waiting to come out Billy Ray. Uh, there's no doubt about that Phil and up to I think. Now just trying to go through his process once again as he did on the layup he's going to only have 124 yards. Mario Tiziani his brother in law his caddy. Yep. Hey, green triangle. Yeah you're right there. Take a deep breath. Great players find a way to divert their emotions, either use them to their, their benefit or out of the way. I've got to think his are getting ready to come out here in the next five minutes, ten minutes. Had a great first year on the PGA Tour champions. This year, Best finish was a tie for fifth at the Rapiscan Systems Classic. Steve's currently 34th in the Schwab Cup standings, but only four events. Well, we have to wonder if this might change his focus. He took a top 25 exemption in the PGA Tour this year to maybe spend some more time out there. Buoyed a little bit, I think, by the confidence he gained in winning three times on this tour last year. And he's not played very well out there so far this year. So this might change his scheduling a bit. Success here in winning his first major championship. 2020 United States Ryder Cup captain. And by virtue of that he received a special invitation in the PGA Championship later this week. Bernhard Lager a two time winner of this event. Now playing his third here at 18. Yeah, come off a very tight lie coming up over the bunker. Plenty of green to work with though, but coming off the down slope. Down slope, tight lie into the grain over a bunker towards a penalty area. Sounds easy. Yeah, good rhythm there. Brought that in low. He's going to have some spin. Pretty impressive there. He had the distance so he could add a little speed to that shot, Phil. That helped quite a bit. Frustrating day for the Hall of Famer. You know he was licking his chops being just too off the lead on a golf course that he's already won the region's tradition twice on. Now David Toms this is. A big opportunity for him if he can get up and down. He has sole possession of second place. And I can tell you he took a good look at the scoreboard. Just the left of the green. Knows the situation that's for sure. All right. I think David Toms is going to take a lot of momentum out of this week, even though he's going to come up short. It's going to really benefit him the remainder of this year. David's had a good year um, in eight events, tied for second, a tie for fourth, a tie for sixth. But to battle this week with the back the way it's been and do what he's done on a pretty long and difficult golf course, I think uh, I think he's going to feel pretty good about his game. If he makes that putt, it's all possession of second. He's currently eighth in the Schwab Cup 
standings. He'll move up a few spots. So will this man with a win here today. Pretty impressive today the way he got up to a really quick start in this round today Phil and has been so solid. The only question was back at 16 is the only time he hit. Um, what I would consider a poor shot got a good break and but no harm no foul there but uh, certainly impressive the way he's played this final round with the with, you know. By his own admission he wants to concentrate on majors. And that's his main focus and to answer the bell like he has today has been quite impressive. The speed has been great. All week long. The mark. And let the other two players finish out. Yep. <laughs> They're trying to come out right there. That little... You can just tell. Boy, you got to feel good for him. He's put in a lot of hard work. Long career. Great player for a long time. Yeah, so, mean, so mean a lot to him, BR. Yeah, it's certainly well. It's every player's dream to win a major. You know, with so many times a player is judged by his peers by winning majors, and uh, this certainly will. Give the stamp of approval from the rest of the field. That's a special time for Steve Stricker. So one thing about Longer, Bernard, he will uh, always give it his best. He and Terry Holt still grinding on this putt. It's not been his day at all. But still working hard, he could easily just walk up and tap it down there and tap it in. Or, but he never does that. That consistency is one of the reasons he's had enjoyed the career that he has. Missed a bunch of putts to the right today. And there's another. Yeah, and, and finally, though, he hit one where he was looking at. Can't believe it. That was probably uh, a putt that one of the few putts that he hit where he was actually looking. Mm. Tough day. Only one birdie for Langer in this final round and an uncharacteristic three over 75. Started the day two back. Finishes nine back. Now David Toms has this putt for birdie and sole possession of second place. I think he hit it where he wanted to, but that was a little bit of that stroke we're talking about. He might benefit from just a little more speed through the ball, shorter backstroke. And I think he actually hit that putt right where he wanted to. He was fooled by it. Cost him outright second. It's three over through his first five. Yeah. Battles back to shoot 72. And now at 52 years of age. The wait is over. Steve Stricker has captured his first major of his career. And here on the PGA Tour Champions, the winner of the 2019 Regions Tradition. Steve Stricker with a four under par 68. And a six shot win over David Toms, Billy Andrade, and Paul Goidos. Let's head it down to Billy Ray Brown with the new major champion. All right, Bob, thanks a lot. Finally, get that first major, Steve. At any point in time in your career, did you lose the hope that you might get that first major under your belt? You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, this all is, right. Yeah, this is special. Um, you know, I never was able to win one of these on the regular tour. and. Uh, you know, I, I get emotional. I hate yeah, this part, but okay. uh, it, it means a lot. You know, we work hard. We uh, we try to do the right things, and and you know, work on my game. And you come out here hoping to hoping to play well and hoping to win. But uh, you know, it's tough out here. 
these guys play well and you know I feel more pressure out here at times to, to perform than I do on the regular tour and uh, and I think that's just because I put a lot of expectations on myself out here and and out there too but I just uh, it's hard you know and, and to finally get this one means a lot. Okay you get this first major does that change any of your game plans by your own admission you want to concentrate on the majors out here you get this first one out does that change your plans at all about this the tour? Ceremony yeah you know it may year. I'm going to uh, digest this one and, and see where I go from here I know I'm in next week at the PGA Championship which will be a lot of fun and uh, but from from there, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I'm committed both to the Colonial and the Senior PGA, so I got to make a decision there. And uh, but it's 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 good decisions, fun fun right. things to try to uh, to figure out and move forward. Congratulations, Thank Steve. You are. Right. Thanks, buddy. Bob. And with the win, Steve Stricker jumps 27 spots up in the season-long race for the Charles Schwab Cup. Is Billy Andrade there to congratulate Steve Stricker? $360,000 Stricker moves from 34th to 27th with his finish here today. Bernhard Langer moves in to second place behind Scott McCarron. David Toms jumps up four spots from eighth to fourth with his tie for second. And Paul Goidos moves into the ninth spot with his tie for second once again. Well, Steve Stricker grabbed this tournament by the throat with a 64 on Friday in the second round. Had a two shot lead after the third round and then took that lead and ran with it. A bogey free, four under par, 68 for a six shot win. He is the region's tradition champion in his first major. PGA Tour champions back in action on Thursday, May the 23rd, the second major of the year, the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship. Well, Greystone once again has rolled out the red carpet in all of Birmingham as well as the PGA Tour champions came to town for the 31st playing of the region's tradition. Bernhard Langer, David Toms all gave it a run, but in the end, the name Steve Stricker will be etched on that trophy. It's been a long wait, but Steve Stricker is finally a major champion. He does it on the PGA Tour champions with the region's tradition.